Hi guys! Welcome back to another vlog with me. And today, we're going to tour my underground doomsday bunker. A couple of weeks ago, I was able to see this video. It's about a doomsday bunker for the rich. So, I'm intrigued. And ang ganda ng bunker niya kasi it's for apocalyptic Camerut Tao. So, dun sa place na yun, meron siyang underground pool, meron siyang school, clinic, or something that you would need in the future kapag nakulong ka dun sa place na yun. Put the link in the description box below para you can watch it too. Pero it's super nice. It's really interesting. So, I wanted to look like this. So, pinagandahan ko rin siya. And we're going to take a look at it now. Right off the bat, you wouldn't be able to differentiate the house to its surrounding. By the way, to give you a background, this has three floors. So, sa first floor, walang gamit sa first floor. If you go over here, you will see the entrance. Nilagyan ka rin siya ng cover para hindi siya madali makita. And if we go inside, you will see nothing. Kasi dito sa floor na to, wala talaga akong nilagay na anything. Everything is underground. There's the stairs. To your left, you will see just a small garden. So this is the first floor. So I, I believe this would be the recreation area. I don't hang out place. In here, you will see the common restrooms. So ito yung parang mga restrooms sa department stores sa SM that you will see. And then when we go out there, would be the library area. I made it into like an open space. Kasi it's inspired by my office. Meron kami parts sa office that you can lounge. And it is very green, yung space na yun. You can freely do whatever you want, hang out, you can read books. And then opposite that would be the coffee area. So this is where you can drink coffee, do your assignment, eat pastry if you want. You can also do brunch. So very spacious siya. And then over here would be the pantry. Just a little bit of things that you would need. I also place the vendo machines. Wala lang kasi it looks cool. Baka lang gusto mo ng energy drink, and chocolates, anything that you would like. Then the locker area. Diba? Para talaga siyang country or clubhouse diba? for the rich. Then the gym. It looks a little bit small so I placed the mirror here to give it an illusion that it's spacious. But this gym area can fit probably 10, 8 people. And then this door leads to the massage or spa area. I would call this the zen area because you can do yoga So very relaxing. And then the room beside that would be the sauna area. Women only and then men only. They're basically identical. This is also a good place to view the second floor down below. Meron na kung nilagay na parang mini park. So it replicates what should be outside. Para at least you wouldn't miss the outdoor so much. So we have here the rooms where you can stay. I made the rooms something like you can rent. This has the group room. And these bunkers. So, we have a bed space, um, restroom of your own, a drawer. And then, same thing with the other room. Then, this one would be couple's room. So, if ever you have a husband or what, tabi kayo, you have your own ensuite toilet and bath. Ensuite toilet and bath? We have two rooms of each. So, the couple's room, the group room, the lawa, and also the singles area tada singles area would mean probably if your brothers and sisters ayun yung magtabi ng bed so this is the bedroom for you you also have your own ensuite toilet and bath ensuite toilet and bath i really like this place this garden area wala lang it's so nice i never thought i'd be able to do something like that i'm really proud of myself once you go here this would be the dining area so, upon entrance, you will be greeted by a bar. So, this is a place where you can hang out too. As you can observe, there are so many hangout places here. Basically, you're trapped inside a building or an establishment. So, you're claustrophobic kapag wala ka yung open area. Feel like you're, you're free or whatever. This is probably a place where you can watch games, reruns, if you want to go for a drink. This would be the dining area too. So, malaki yung table, mahaba siya. It can fit 12. And then your island counter. 
I love this part, yung kitchen. It looks so cozy. I've been wanting an industrial kitchen of my own then. It looks so clean, everything is there. This is inspired by Suki. If you've seen Gilmore Girls, she's the best friend of Lorelai. And she's yung chef nila sa Independence Inn. And then, ang ganda ng kitchen niya, ang daming fruits, vegetables, everything that you can think of. It makes you feel like it's your home, it's your kitchen, it's so nice. The only difference is, that meron siyang mga fries, burger, mga fast food. These items are not functional, so if you place it in your sims, hindi mo siya magagamit. But it's definitely for aesthetic purposes. And meron siyang animation na para siya nagpa-fry. Also, these vegetables are from debug items. It's so nice. Parang ang lively. Parang gusto mo dito magluto all the time. And it seems fitting kasi meron tayong celebrity chef na papasok sa bahay ni Kuya. Girl, watch out for that. So we have here mga items. We also have wine. And then over here would be freezer where you place all of your frozen items like eggs, meats, whatever you need. Meron pa tayong kombucha and all that. This is the last floor. Probably one of my favorites too. Meron tayong trash can. Meron tayong life preserver. And then your pool area. Itong floor na to, siguro mga twice ko siyang dinilit kasi I didn't know what to do with it. There was a moment na sobrang na-frustrate na ako. Like, paano ko ba ito papagagandahin? Kasi gusto ko talaga siya. I want it to look like a country club. Now you would go to, you would feel at home. Every time kasi na may ginagawa ko, hindi ko nagagawa yung design na gusto kong gawin. Like, mamukha lang siyang something that you would just settle in. Mga places or yung mga Airbnb na pinupuntahan mo lang kasi mura, ganyan, pero the pool is not that nice. I don't want it to feel like that. I want it to feel like you paid $65,000 for it. So, feeling ko na pull off ko naman siya with this one. And I, you know, I played with the floor tiles. I played with the the walls, the wallpapers. Ang unang talagang pangat niya sis. Pero you know what? I didn't settle. Ginawa ko ulit siya. Inayos ko siya ng inayos until I've reached this whole design. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm fully satisfied. We have this sunken lounge area where you can, you know, stay, have your drinks, do whatever you want. And then to your right, you will see the bar. It's pretty white. Ganda niya. Wala lang, I like it. You have your wine over there. So if you just wanna drink, you know, grill something. So towards the end of the pool area, meron tayong makikita dun. Para siyang opening, right? So you would see like rose petals and candles. This is for adults only. So I placed here the jacuzzi, but at least if you know you wanna woohoo someone, you can do it over here. Very romantic yung vibe niya, you know, kapag tulad na yung mga bata. I also placed wine here, a TV, a lounge chair, but at least, you know, just for the two of you guys. For my birthday, I really wanted to go out, but since we are still in quarantine, we're not allowed to go out, and so I'm living vicariously through my sins. Now, if we're gonna go back to the bar, you will see two doors. So the other one leads to the washing machine area, the laundry area. Laundry baskets, washing machine, dryer, and then when you go out, that would be your music area. So I made this area very colorful because I wanted it to place where you can jam with your friends. So I placed there your karaoke, your piano, your mic, guitar. So if your friends and you are musically inclined, then you can stay here and hang out and then jam, write songs or anything. I wanted a beanbag over here, pero kasi walang ganun sa sim. So I just used the sofa beds. And they're really nice, they're very colorful. But I think what made it very colorful would be the lights. So yung mga nakalagay sa dingding and over here, uh, yan yung parang spotlight effect. You see another door and it leads to the clinic. Uh, now, I'm not sure if this desk is functional. This is the first time I'm using it, but it's there for aesthetic purposes. Meron um, dextros, and then over here would be the bed. Iba sa clinic may mga bed where you can stay. Now, to your right, of course, hindi natin makakalimutan ang mga chikiting. 
So we have here the daycare area. And I didn't design it that much because I know it will be magulo soon. Once you have kids over here, there will be mess. But I was able to put a dollhouse, a swing, art um, area, stuffed toys, stuffed animals, books, also, and puppet area. The long hallway, medyo bare siya tignan, but I was able to put a little bit of design over here just to put a little bit of art. A color next door leads to the movie theater. Very simple lang. I also used the same couch sa music area because it looks very cozy. But this one though, it's so big. Ang laka ng TV. So we have here your gaming room. Ang hindi ko lang nalagay yung bowling, yung basketball area. Hindi na kasi eh. But I was really hoping to put that too. Meron pa dun parang water slide, tennis, table tennis, and dami pa. Hindi lang kasi. But I was able to put darts, arcade, and over here would be the computer area. So this computer area can be turned into a classroom if you want. I opted for a green color too. Because yung alma mater ko color dito. It reminded me of, you know, schooling. Green wallpaper, green chairs. So that's it basically. At the last floor. There are different places your sims can hang out in. I think, you know, this is something that I would also want to experience. I mean, ang ganda ng pool. I think the best part of this would be the pool. Or the kitchen. I like the kitchen area. Pero I like the pool. Mainly because I'm in it right now. And I just really want to see it. There you have it. We're outside again. We have people over here. Sila yung ititira ko sa bahay ko. So, they look very familiar. Meron tayong Taylor Swift. Meron tayong Bruno Mars. Or Jose Rizal, if you want. We also have Gordon Ramsay. So, that's for the next episode. I'm gonna try to trap them inside the house and see what will happen. Thank you guys for watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!